Hey everyone, Brian from Bear Bull Traders. It's uh, Wednesday, September 16th, hump day, and let's just take a look at how the markets traded today. Actually, it was quite an interesting day to see a reversal in the sectors that were hot and the sectors that were not. We looked at that at uh, the close today, but let's uh, start out with the way we started today. The transport's up big, obviously. A lot of that was driven by the FedEx uh, earnings that came out last night blew away the numbers. FedEx was up big, it did tend to fade here as we went on through the day. So you can see here we had a hollow filled candle on the day, and our size getting up into that 70 level had a really nice run on the on the transports. Uh, maybe coming to a bit of a a pause here as we start to consolidate along this area. But uh, transports have been a monster and a big uh, volume day today. So here's the yields on the 10-year. Well, I'd like to watch those to see where these yields are going. And of course, we had the statements from the Fed today. Uh, interest rates lower and longer. And uh, inflation target 2%. And yeah, there wasn't really anything new that they said, I don't think. But uh, again, just keeping an eye on interest rates because they're going to impact a lot of things if they start to move up sharply or roll over. If they start to move up sharply, obviously, that would be good for the banks uh, and uh, yeah so let's take a look at the Dow quite a you know a negative candle on the day here we had a uh, pretty much a pretty strong reversal volume um, average for last week or so and you can see we rejected again this 20 moving average after this pullback and yeah this is a reversing doji obviously so be interesting to see how the rest of the week goes, but we do seem to be having some some resistance getting through here and a significant pullback today after after we did uh, we did surge ahead and then uh, gave it all back at the end of the day. So we're only up a 0.13 percent on the Dow today. The uh, small caps, the IWM, again, sort of same story here. Uh, we were. We gapped up, we had a strong, strong move, and then uh, gave most of it back as we got into the end of the day. But the small caps do look a little promising here. We had a double bottom on the daily on this RSI. Volume coming in a little bit heavier here. Looks like stochastics are turning up. So on the one hand, you didn't have a very constructive finish to the day. On the other hand, you've got some of the indicators that are looking like it might be going higher. And I think the trend here maybe is, uh, you know, we're starting to see some talk about there's the timing on the vaccine. And that's, of course, debatable. Different people are saying different things. But uh, certainly it looks like sometime in 2000 and. 21, we'll start getting it to the out to the general public, and uh, maybe that will be kind of um, the beginning of the end for this virus. So let's hope so. I'd like to see the end of it. I'm sure everybody else out there would. Um, yeah, Q's again the worst performer on the day, of course, with the indexes. This was off one and a half percent more, and of course this uh, this does look kind of ominous. We may just end up chopping in this range here. You can see this is an area of support as I put my uh, cursor there. This 270 level um, RSI doesn't look very positive, turning lower. Volume was not significant on that selling today. Stochastics are starting to turn up a little bit, so maybe a sign that we're just at least going to consolidate here. And again, the SPY was down a little bit, half a percent on the day, roughly. But again, we're kind of getting into this uh, period of maybe some consolidation here or sector rotation, as we shall talk about here in a minute. So let's quickly look at these sectors at a glance here. You can see discretionary is down, communication, technology. These have been our traditional, or at least our past uh, winners. And of course, they've been uh, significantly sold off since we had that Apple Tesla split high and uh, when you look at where the good performance was today <clears throat> energy which has just been a dog's breakfast as we like to say it looks like it's starting to break a bit of a trend here maybe head higher 
and this could be an indication that maybe we're going to get some more oil uh, usage as the economy improves and of course I think also maybe some effects from the hurricane which I believe has been shutting down some of the production assets down in the Gulf and uh, what else did well today uh, real estate but uh, of course came came well off its high uh, financials a bit of an inside day here on this candle and again it'll if we get some uh, imp, you know raising interest rates that'll help that Again, staples sold off, um, industrial sold off after gapping up, same with materials. So materials has been a, uh, and these two sectors, and industrials and materials have been strong. So interesting to see the kind of day we had here with uh, the reversal on, reversal of fortune as the day went on. So finally, let's just take a look at a few stocks I'm uh, watching or sectors I'm watching here. We're, I'm watching gold still. It seems to be really trading into a, uh, a pennant here, making a bit of a pennant. Looks like it's going to start breaking out. This is the price of gold, obviously. <clears throat> Our side turning up, 200-day uh, moving average, all trending in the right direction. And maybe we're going to getting the MACD to cross here. And stochastics above the 50 level. So it looks like, to me, it looks like gold is getting ready to start to do a bit of a breakout here. Um, it's the way the chart looks. I think that looks pretty promising, actually. Uh, Bloom Energy. I'm looking at, I'm um, just going to watch in this one if the energy stocks obviously do well. This has been a bit of a hot ticket in the past, so we'll see if uh, we can break through these moving averages here. Volume picking up a little bit on BE. DraftKings. DraftKings is one I wish I'd been in. Uh, obviously, it's had a nice little breakout here from this 42 level. It's uh, really expensive to chase it up here, but I'd be looking for a uh, pullback. And uh, if we can get a uh, pullback into this uh, 46, 47 range, I think that would be a great opportunity to get into this stock. The volume's been great on this thing. Uh, RSI is over 70 right now, so needs to, as I said, needs a little bit of a pullback, but I think longer term, I think this, uh, this stock looks uh, fairly promising. Uh, GDX, this is kind of interesting because the gold was up today and uh, the miners were down a little bit, which can happen. You get this divergence. Um, stocks, company stocks go down on sell-off days while the price of gold can be going higher. I think in the long term, though, this is going to drive the price of the miners up as well because an increase in the price of gold improves their profitability. So uh, stochastics getting up into a bit of an oversold situation here. So I'd be watching for a, a good way to play this would be with the GDX or GDXJ if you like the miners. A little bit more juice in that one. Or you could just play GLD and... Uh, just play the actual metal. Silver, again, we're just kind of consolidating here. Volume came up a bit today. Stochastics are going, moving in the right direction. Again, could be getting a bit of a breakout. Space, I'm just keeping an eye on. I uh, was in and out of it. I was hoping it would actually break higher, but it hasn't. And now it's just looking like it's consolidating, but I'm just keeping an eye on it. Volume very low today. Uh, maybe see if we can get an entry back in there for... Uh, some news and uh, when they start launching those commercial flights or at least a lead up to it. <clears throat> Again here uh, I've been I've been taking a play on uh, on uh, natural gas. I've been short it uh, through a Canadian ETF and it looks uh, like it's maybe going to find a bit of a bottom some support here. So I'm going to take that off but it had a nice run on that one. And USO, as we said, energy today gapped up on the oil, um, maybe to do with uh, um, hurricane primarily with the assets being shut down and uh, could be some short covering here because it's, uh, it's really gotten uh, sold off. But uh, if this is just a short covering rally and the hurricanes come and go, uh, we could be back into some selling. Again, stochastics kind of hooking up here. So I did take a, <clears throat> I did take a bit of a, a long position on um, not the XLE, but something similar to it in Canada. 
looking for a little bit more of a bounce here and uh, and and like I said I'm just looking for it as a quick trade so we'll see how that works out so uh, that's it everybody I uh, hope you've had a good uh, good day um, see how the rest of the week goes it certainly looks a little bit uh, it's going to be interesting to see if the tech stocks continue to to struggle as we get some rotation into some of the other sectors and uh, that's it so we'll see you in the bearable trading room in the morning you're going to join us there 8 30 live on youtube and then 9 30 of course trading the market bye for now